past has been all about Ticketmaster, 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 but time to, you know, move on. We gotta, gotta get off that, that horse a little bit. It's time we talk about some of the other ticket platforms that do exist. And so today we're talking all about AXS, Access, whatever you wanna call it. I'm pretty sure it's AXS, but whatever. We're talking all about them today. We're gonna learn about how to go ahead, list and sell those tickets. Because if you wanna get your tickets sold, sometimes listening on just one platform isn't enough. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Shres here on Thumbs Up Front where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, make sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Guys, I know it's been a little while, new digs, don't know what's going on here. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting few couple of weeks as we kind of feel out the place, figure out the sound, the lighting, the setup, the, the backdrop, the flatty at least. I mean, that's the most important thing right there. Time that we get ourselves back to talking tickets. Do stay tuned to the end though if you are so interested. Got a few things I want to talk about, just you know, general life stuff. We'll chat a little bit then. But before we get to that, we gotta talk about the main event. And today we're talking about AXS. AXS tickets, how to actually go ahead, list and sell those tickets on AXS. Let's get started. When you list and sell tickets on AXS, First thing you ought to know is that you need to have an AXS account. The tickets need to be in AXS because AXS Access, they have their own ticketing platform. It is completely separate from Ticketmaster. So don't be expecting to be listing tickets on AXS and then seeing them populated over on Ticketmaster. When we go through this specific process, we're talking just about AXS. If you want to learn how to go ahead and list and sell those tickets on Ticketmaster, though, go ahead, click up over here. And if you want to learn how to sell those tickets on StubHub, go ahead, click on the next video right here. All the details are there for you, all laid out. If you're asking for those up there, otherwise, remember, AXS tickets, that is today. First up, once you have your tickets in AXS, all purchased, ready to go, you're like, okay, time to sell them. What do I gotta do? So first thing you gotta do, sign into your account and head on over to your events page. Over here, you'll get a list of all your events. We're gonna go and find one that is eligible. Now. Eligible versus non-eligible, similar to how Ticketmaster works. If an event is eligible, there will be a button that you can go ahead and select. Otherwise, you actually can't go and sell those seats. Sometimes an event may not be eligible because of a few reasons. One, the general sale has not yet taken place. Two, the event may have restrictions on it, and so they just won't allow you to ever get them, you know, able to be sold. Or three, sometimes it's just, there's just error, so you don't go back, check again later. There's no harm in, you know, reaching out to support to confirm if that event will eventually get access to go ahead and sell. So as you guys can go ahead, take a look at your events, pick the event which you're looking at, and there should be a little button. So I'm gonna look here, Jason Aldean, our friend, and what we got here, we got a button that says transfer or sell. So today we're talking all about that sell button. So go ahead, select that bad boy right there. And then we have the option to select our specific seats. So once you're here, select the tickets that you want to go ahead and list and then eventually get sold. So I'm gonna go ahead, select my seats. You can pick one, some of them, all of them. The only requirement here is that you're selecting seats that are in the same section and the same row. So if you had ended up purchasing several tickets to this event, but you bought them, you know, two in the upper bowl, two in the lower bowl, two on the glass, that kind of thing, you can go ahead and list all these tickets. You just can't do them all at the same time. You have to go ahead and list the ones that are in the same section and row first, then move on to the next same section and row, and then finally the last same section and row. Capiche? That doesn't mean though you can't list single seats. Uh, you can certainly go ahead and do that. But really in this case, I'm just gonna be selling a pair because I know pairs generally sell faster. So I'm gonna go ahead, select these two seats here and then hit next. Next page, very simply, how much do you wanna sell these seats for? Unlike other resale websites, there is no you know price history, price indicators, anything to kind of help you identify what is a good price or not. So if you are looking to go ahead and get a competitive price, your best bet would actually be to open up either a second screen or opening up the event on another tab, seeing what prices are around those same seats in that section and row, and then pricing based on that. I'm gonna price mine very conservatively. I don't really want to sell these tickets just yet. I might actually want to go, so you, you never know. So I'm gonna list these here for a lot of money. $999.99. Very good. Now, one of the fun things or the interesting things about AXS is how many options they give you when you are going ahead to list those seats. So you can see here, it gives you an expiration date. Now, depending on the type of event it is, you may be thinking, oh, do I really want to go to this event or do I just kind of want to go to this event? So sometimes it could be like, 
oh, if these tickets end up selling, then I'll sell them. I won't go to the event and it'll be fine. But if they don't end up selling, maybe I still want to go to that event. So you have a few options. You go sell it for one day, list it for one week, list it up to one day prior to the event taking place, even right before the event starts or even all the way until it kind of you know gets going almost an hour in. So if you're thinking about maybe going to the event, if it doesn't sell, then go ahead, select one of these options that expire prior to the event actually taking place. Last thing here, selling options. So this is basically talking about ticket split. So ticket split is basically how the event, how those seats are going to get split up when someone is going to go ahead and try and buy those tickets. So if you have a pair of tickets listed, you have the option of selling them all together as that pair, or you can sell them as singles so that someone can buy a single seat and then eventually hopefully someone else will then buy that last single seat. So you do have a few options here. You can sell them all together. Say it was a group of 10 tickets. You could group them all together. You could have them sold in you know different bundles. You could have them all sold individually if you wanted. You have so many different options available to you. So go ahead, play around, see what makes the most sense to you. I will say the most common selling option will be even number of tickets because in this way, it's generally easier to go ahead and sell you know sets of twos and fours and six rather than the ones that you sell a set of three and you sell a set of two there and then you end up with a weird number at the end can be a bit hard to move those tickets right at the last minute. So I find that when you sell tickets in even numbers, it makes your life a lot simpler. So that's I'm going to go here. You do have an option as well to leave a note for the buyer. If they do click on the seat, they may see an additional disclosure that you give it, but not really necessary. You can go ahead, skip over that. Next thing I'm going to do here, hit next. And then they get to this fun page. If this is the first time you've listed tickets, in that specific country where the event's taking place, this is where you're gonna go ahead and list your banking information. Now, this is a very important screen. If you are going ahead to list tickets for an event in the United States, for example, you require to have a US bank account so you can go ahead and finish that sale. Go ahead, list those tickets, get paid, all that good stuff. Now, if you are a Canadian trying to sell tickets in the US on AXS and you do not have a US bank account, Unfortunately, you are not able to go ahead and list tickets on AXS. They will not allow you to go ahead and do so because you require to have a bank account from the country where the event is taking place. Same thing in the opposite. If you are in the US trying to sell an event in Canada, if you do not have a Canadian bank account, you cannot go ahead and list tickets on AXS for that event just because you don't have the right banking information. So make sure you have all that lined up prior to this point. If you don't, Go ahead, maybe do a bit of investigations, but if you do, go ahead, enter it in below. Once you have all your banking information in, go ahead and select next. Then it's just gonna ask you to review your listing. It's gonna say what the event is, where it's taking place, what seats you've listed, price, all that good stuff. And then you get to the, the interesting stuff down here. It says listing price per ticket. Fine, that's what you put in. And then you start seeing all the other fees that AXS has on top of it. So you can see here, because this is tickets for basically $1,000, there is a 15% commission on listing and selling these seats. It's a bit high. I would not generally recommend using a site that charges that much, but if you are, you know, have tickets on AXS, don't know what to do with them, want to get them sold, and this is kind of the easiest option for you, definitely go ahead, do it. Just remember to keep that in mind when listing those tickets because there is quite a large fee that you'll have to deal with before those tickets finally get sold. If everything looks good though, scroll down to the bottom, hit that big blue button, list tickets. Wait, 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 da da da. By George, I think we've got it. Success, your tickets are listed for sale. Well done. So in your email, you should get an email basically saying, hey, your tickets are ready and successfully listed. I got the confirmation here, listing price giving the expiry date, all that good stuff. So nothing else really to it. We just gotta kinda wait and see now for those tickets to eventually get propagated on their platform and then you can go ahead and get them sold. Now, sometimes you'll get through the whole process, you'll have a list of tickets, you'll come by, you know, maybe a couple of days later, think, ah, these tickets, they're not, uh, they're not moving that well and I, I wanna reprice them. Well, Unfortunately, AXS, they don't actually allow you to go ahead and reprice tickets at this point in time. If you wanna do that, you actually have to go ahead, delete the listing completely, then go ahead, relist the tickets again at your new ticket price, and then kind of go through the process that way. It's a very unfortunate thing, and I currently don't have a workaround for you. If I do find one, I'll definitely let you guys know, but at this point in time, if you are looking to reprice your tickets, unfortunately, you do need to go ahead, delete those listings, then re-put them up again at your new expected ticket price. 
How do you go ahead and delete a listing then? Very simply, just jump on back to your events page, find the specific event, and then on the right there, click delete listing. This point, you'll get the confirmation. Do you really want to do this? And the answer is yes. Once I hit the yes button, that's about it. You wait a few minutes, the event's kind of thinking, thinking, thinking. And there we go. That's it. That's all event has been deleted. Well, not the event, just your tickets have been deleted. Your tickets have been deleted. That's it. That's all. You can now go ahead, relist those tickets once again, update with your new price once you kind of have a better idea of what you'd like those tickets to be priced at. Again, you do have all those buttons and disclosures to go through, so it'll take a bit of time to go ahead and do that process. But all in all, that's pretty much it. That's how you go ahead, list, and sell those tickets on AXS. A very straightforward, very easy process. Does take a bit of time to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, it can be quite easy and simple. Again, if you are listing events in a different country, make sure you have a bank account set up in that country, or else you won't be able to actually go ahead and list and sell those seats. Now, if you guys made it this far, Let's, uh, let's just have a really quick chat. So as you can see here, currently in a new setup, I'm out in Toronto now, as I have mentioned in the past. Sound is not perfect, lighting isn't quite perfect, backdrop not yet set up and perfect. Nothing is, you know, we're kind of in that phase of, you know, testing out, trying new things, figuring out what works, what doesn't. So I'm looking to you guys to give me comments and suggestions, any ideas you may have. Let me know what your comments are. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I, uh, I can use all the help I can possibly get because this is, you know, not my forte. Forte, tickets. Rest of the stuff, filming, work in progress. Other than that though, if you guys are interested in like a home tour or any kind of behind the scene action, definitely let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter and or Instagram at thumbs up run. Always looking for your guys' comments and questions there. I'll be able to handle and answer those questions as I kind of see them come through. Last thing I want to mention, now that Toronto is slowly approaching phase three, we're starting to move towards, you know, letting in big events coming back into town. And that means baseball, 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 baseball. I'll definitely be attending a few baseball games this summer, assuming they do come back before the end of the season. So if any of you guys are so interested in attending a baseball game, definitely reach out to me, let me know. I'll send out a few dates of the games that I'll be at, so you can go ahead, meet up, chat over there if you guys are so interested. I will definitely be looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys in person once uh, once things start opening up just, just a little bit more. Other than that though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, make sure to subscribe already great new content on every single week and see you guys next time